So after this, what I can do is to, uh, to choose the generate lot from boundary command and just click inside of, of this lot. So what I haven't, uh, what I forgot to mention is that these elements obviously need to be on certain layers. So uh, whatever is a physical boundary, a parameter of your parking lot, that needs to be on uh, the, the PC parkhead physical <coughs> layer. But uh, these yellow lines are, uh, these are access roads. So vehicles will access the parking, uh, the parking lot here. But uh, it's going to be possible to enter to this area anywhere along this uh, along this access road and then also we have this little green uh, green area which is uh, which is the PC entrance so parkhead entrance this is um, <clears throat> this is going to be just a very uh, uh, just a more controlled way to to control very where, where you allow vehicles to enter into your site so I'm just going to delete uh, any of these existing CAD elements and um, just uh, start uh, designing my lot. So what I have here is that I can, I can define what is the parking uh, arrangement what I would like to see in the parameter and what is it what I would like to see in the interior. <clears throat> so let's say on the parameter I, uh, I'm pretty fine with uh, 90 degree angles. Uh, however, on the on the interior, I would like to change uh, change this to uh, 45 uh, degree, and then the layout I would like to change it to uh, to a herringbone. So this what what it will do is that uh, if I click within a boundary, it will create um, a layout for me, and if I uh, turn off the snap to side option then what you see is that uh, as I move my cursor along I can modify dynamically the angle of this uh, interior parking rows. Pay attention to, uh, to this, little, um, this little dialog box or this little box here, feedback box, uh, which is for the star count. As I move my cursor along uh, that star count dynamically changes Obviously, there are some. Uh, there is somewhere there is a maximum combination of it. 